welcome to Bilpen. We made it up to the plateau um, and there's been lots of little U-Pick stops that we've driven past along the way, which is really exciting. So it's pink lady season and we're about to go apple picking. Uh, we just stopped here to have a look at some of the pretty picturesque farms that are around to show the kids the animals. But now it's apple picking time. So we're gonna head off and find the spot that we think still has the most apples on the trees. So we found our apple farm here at Bilpin. Uh, we drove around until we found one that we liked the look of that still had lots of apples on the trees. And then when you get there, you pay per head to go in and you take a basket with you and fill it up with gorgeous, delicious apples. And at the end, you pay by weight. Um, and now all we have to do is fill our baskets. So the biggest problem that we're having at the moment is not picking every single apple because you get this real sort of uh, addiction to trying to find the biggest, best, next, reddest one. Um, so you've got to work out very quickly how to choose a good apple and not necessarily a green apple and to just slow down. I'm going to go for this one. <laughs> Funky. <laughs> well, that's one of the things I love about apple picking though, hey, is when you walk along and there's all rotten fruit at the bottom of the trees and it's a bit kind of funky, but it smells, I actually, I kind of like that cidery sort of smell. Gets in your hair, gets in your clothes, it's good, I like it. <laughs> you don't like it? No. Not my thing, rotting fruit. It's not rotting, it's fermenting, different, totally different. And that's like the farm experience. I think everyone thinks it's gonna be really green and sort of just lush rolling hills, but some of it's a bit dirty and that's that's okay. That's okay, farming is dirty. That's where it comes from, it's, out you know, of the dirt. There's dirt and there's rotten fruit and there's flies and there's lots of bees actually, cause, and waspy well, things. Thing. Yeah, bees and wasps. Well, it's not a good thing for you, you're allergic to them, but. That's, you know, like part of the process of getting the, the trees um, fertilised and that's how you get the fruit in the first place, so. So kind of useful. Extremely useful. Daddy. Love the bees. The bees are Daddy. important. Um, some of these have still got flowers on them, actually. Little tiny flowers. Some of them are in full bloom still. But there you go, that's the start of an apple. And the end of an apple. No, the end of an apple is the no, one the that Rushy ate. <laughs> You want to buy it? Yep. It's so good. When you touch them on the tree, if they're ripe, they just kind of fall off in your hand. You don't have to pull them at all, they just kind of fall. Give me my apple back! You're stealing my apple, dude! Um, oh. <laughs> it's, dri look, it's dripping everywhere. Listen to that sound. <clears throat> so juicy. Mm, paddock to plate. I don't know why we're sharing. We've got a whole basket of them. A whole orchard of them. Hey, we'll try and see if this one's going to fall off in my hand. Hey! You really pulled it down, though. Oh, well, look at this one then. Do you want this one? Look. Yes. Oh no, it's not coming. <laughs> Ready? No you don't have to, like, it takes the lightest touch and they just kind of fall off in your hand. It's great. All right, I think that's enough. enough. Uh, <laughs> Here you go, you put it in. It's the afternoon. Can I put them down now? Yeah. Oh, God, they're heavy. I'll give you a hand, but I'm holding something. <laughs> I think we went way overboard on apples. I'm not even going to tell you how much we spent on apples just then, but it was a lot of delicious apples. So I gather they make a killing. <laughs> but that doesn't mean we're not going to stop at another farm, right, baby? Yeah, sure. <laughs> For a look. <laughs> Um, I think next time maybe we'll just take the little basket, not the two big baskets, and yeah. maybe don't let the, the kids pick them. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the tip. That's the hot tip is don't let your kids pick them. Um, 
Lots of things we can do with them. <laughs> What's this? That's my boot. What do you think the tub's for? <laughs> to keep the mud out of the car. I'm sorry. And that's why you bring boots too. Oh, they smell all cidery. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. No, they smell like... No, not in there. The underbit. Cider. you got cider feet. No, I don't have cider feet. Don't, I'm <laughs> not smelling my own shoe. That smells like... That's mushed up apple. Mm. All smushy, mushy apple. And it smells like cider. Okay, it smells so like this cider. is what you do. Here's the routine. Yeah, show me what... <laughs> Get the boot. Yeah, yeah. That's why your car's tidy and mine's not. Yeah, that's not working. So they'll, they'll just go in the... <laughs> just go straight in the bucket. Hey, watch this, baby. Boot. In the bucket! Wow, darling, you're Yay! amazing! <laughs> Closed. Pinecrest. This is one of the more popular ones. I was looking forward to coming here, but the sign says closed for the 2017-18 season. Open, God willing, in December for commencement of the pine orchard season 2018-19. So hopefully nothing's gone wrong, but very quiet, very closed up. On to the next one and maybe find some lunch. Lunchtime. Um, would you like a picnic? I would love. <laughs> uh, so we stopped at Bilpin Cider Co. And we're, the plan was to get some, some ciders, which we're still going to get, but they do these beautiful little picnics for, for two or for four. And you borrow the basket, borrow the rugs, which we've padded our seats with. And do you want me to show you, baby, what we've got? Yep. Please. Okay, so in our little picnic, we have ooh, cold meats and local cherry tomatoes delicious and oh let's see cheese oh we need cheese which we've been some apples i know right i'm going to sneak back to the car and get the apples that we picked before and some little punnets of olives and some lavash crackers and cutlery and plates Over so spread. Yeah, amazing. Quick, um, let's eat it before amazing. the kids get back. <laughs> Fueling up for the drive home. It's been a long day of apple picking. Are you tired? Mm -mm, yeah, but I'm going to drive. <laughs> Say no. Baskets of apples, sore feet. Um, I'm gonna get some cider on the way home, but in the meantime, fueling up for the drive home. Crackers, cheese, apples. I don't know, I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. <laughs> got moustache. So, uh, got some of the, thank you, pink lady ciders to continue the pink lady theme of the day. Got two honey meads, totally off the apple bandwagon, but absolutely delicious. And a six pack of the uh, non-alcoholic apple cider, which is incredibly delicious. Just a few roadies. Just a few, just a few roadies, we're responsible, not, not drinking and driving. Um, oh, look yeah. at that. That's, a, that's what I call a, a day, day well out. spent. <laughs> Thank you.